Genesis 1.1, God's Word says that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. One of the really cool blessings and, and privileges that I've had in my life is coming from a family from literally all over the world. Being born and raised in a family that uh, is all from South Africa and then you go to different parts behind the South Africans in my family and you find Australia and you find England and you find uh, you know Wales and you find a whole bunch of other places around the world that uh, are these beautiful places that really you can't put into words. Um, from mountaintops in Peru, places like Machu Picchu, to the beaches of Australia where you just find these incredible beaches where we've been able to drive these four-wheel drive type of trucks onto the beaches and just kind of cruise um, to South Africa where my family's from where you find dunes that are basically the size of mountains. And I'll just share this with you. Being able to travel all over the world has been really, really cool. Because when you travel all over the world, you get to see God's creation, get to experience God. But there's probably no greater place that I love going to, to experience God and His creation, than in the heart of New Orleans, in a place called Audubon Park. I was born just a few minutes right down the road on Napoleon Avenue at the Baptist Hospital. And uh, Audubon Park's been a favorite for me for my entire life, being born and raised here in New Orleans. I remember growing up here and hanging out at this park, and uh, I remember one time specifically me and my brother, we were here with uh, my mom and some of our friends, and, and this dude came by and, and stole uh, my mom's purse, and we tracked that sucker down, got the purse from him. Uh, so there's been some crazy things happening. My wife and I, when uh, we were kind of before all the kids, one of the things that we love doing recreationally hanging out at this park because there's golf here, there's places you can walk, there's uh, people you can hang with, there's picnics, crawfish bowls, the whole deal. Um, but uh, I'll, I'll never forget, my, my wife and I, we love to rollerblade here. We look goofy, I wore the tights, all the different things. The main reason why uh, we wore rollerblades and we rollerblade around was basically both of us are so competitive in nature. It was the only thing that we would do athletically that we wouldn't get into a fight about because it was more about survival. Uh, I remember meeting for the first time Drew Brees while I was rollerblading, made a fool out of myself, almost busted it. And one of the amazing things, as I shared with you in Genesis 1-1, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. We also know that from Isaiah 6.3 it says, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth that God created is filled with His glory. So when we can retreat from the concrete jungle that is New Orleans and hang out in Audubon Park and, and just enjoy a, a po' boy with some friends or uh, maybe get to go for a walk or, or get to go and hang out at Audubon Zoo, we get to experience the glory of God. And we get to soak in who God is and understanding just how creative, how powerful, and how beautiful He is. Psalm 8. O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is Your name in all the earth. You have set Your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and infants, You have established strength because of Your foes to still the enemy and the avenger. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you care for him? Yet you have made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen and also the beasts of the field the birds of the heavens, the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Whether I'm in the heart of Audubon Park, either playing some golf or uh, enjoying the park with my friends or taking a, a run around the park, or whether I'm on the Mississippi near the fly, um, I'm always reminded not just of the glory of God, but also the power of God. I mean, it's always so stinking hot in New Orleans year round, um, but we also get reminded of not just the power of the sun, 
be in such a hot place, but the power of the water, the Mississippi River. Um, we've been taught in New Orleans to respect water, to respect the power of the ocean, the river. There's no probably greater place in all the world that knows the power of water. Growing up in a family of surfers that grew up surfing on the coast of uh, South Africa and Australia, I was always taught about respecting the water. I remember a couple years ago, me and my dad took a swim in the ocean and uh, it almost took my dad's life. The, the current was so strong and if I wasn't possibly a little bit younger, maybe in a little bit better shape, uh, my dad might have drowned. And I've always been taught to respect God's creation, especially His water. And, and when you think about the power of God in His creation, not just the fact that when you look at creation, you're exposed to the beauty, the majesty, and we can know God through His creation, just understanding who He is, but we can also respect Him and serve Him and bow to Him because He is all-powerful, because He created all things, because He can destroy all things. Uh, when I'm reminded of the power of the mighty Mississippi and the beauty that is the mighty Mississippi, it forces me to no longer think that this world revolves around me, to no longer think that I'm in control of all things, but to more importantly bow before our God, our creator, our maker, our sustainer of all things, saying, God, you are God, I am not, and I worship you alone.